Pie CJ. Mm. Hello, everybody. My name is Shay Too Sweet. You can call me Shay for sure. And today we're getting into another CJ the Champ video. Y'all voted on it, so it's technically a viewer request. All right, so remember, if it sucks, you ask for it. I'll be your resident black friend talking through the whole entire thing. Hey, look, look, I have got a black friend. So let's go ahead and jump jump into it. Oh, that nigga got shiny ass hair. Shit. I need to know his protocol. Exactly, still my to this day. But like, what the, the rest of y'all niggas gonna do? One nigga's dog is literally more popular than him. What the Told you gonna do eat the nigga and, 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 and do I even have to explain this? A literal swing set has more screen time than her. That was a girl. Hold up. What? Oh shit. Yeah. Okay. I couldn't tell. My bad. I couldn't tell. I was so focused. I was so focused on on this nigga in the back. I, look, dog. Don't don't come for me unless I send for you. Let's go. Little swing set has more screen time than her. Let's get. It. Mm. Alright, ladies and gentlemen, Ooh. I have finally been released from YouTube purgatory. Okay. I mean, if you don't know, uh, if you're wondering where that To Your Eternity video went, uh, <laughs> let's just say YouTube clapped that. And, uh, your boy got a strike! Goddamn copyright strike. Nigga, that's fair use, but hey, 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 I just had to lay low the entirety of October and basically early November to get rid of this goddamn five star warning level. Already making my inconsistent schedule even more inconsistent. <laughs> but, anyways, bro, it's finally time to return to the uh, round table of Black okay. Air Force activity. And we have a new challenger approach. I'm right. not even gonna lie, I haven't even teased this character yet. I probably haven't even mentioned him before, but uh, Bitches, she is a damn demon. Like, my nigga, this man is on straight demon timing. Bros, I heard beat the shit out of kids. Be Fuck them kids. Beat the hell out of my handicap. Like, bro, I ain't even gonna lie. This nigga got like a vendetta or like, Sasuke or some shit. This nigga so evil, he out here killing goldfish. The smack that smiles back. Goldfish. <laughs> hey, yo, goldfish, you better hit your boy with a sponsorship after that little free ass promo I gave y'all niggas on guard. But y'all already know we got the evidence on deck. And All we right. will see if this man is worthy to be sat at this table of God. So without further ado, <clears throat> exhibit A. All right. Now, before we get into the boxing, we gotta understand how Ishiki acts, how he breathes, how he walks, his demeanor and shit. So that will lead us into Exhibit A, pimping and dealing with hoes. Now, as we can see, okay. Jigen or Ishiki, whatever the f you want to call the nigga, I mean, he's technically Jigen right now, but as we can see, he's enjoying a very nice four-course meal with some fine wine right now. Now, I don't know what the hell he eating, but it look like some goddamn Olive Garden to go. Motherfucker got some fancy-ass lasagna, some fancy-ass ravioli, or some goddamn uh, spaghetti or shit. I don't know, but hey, nigga. That should look good as hell, no cap. But anyways, right. as we can see, while my nigga Jigen is eating, Delta is having an attitude. Look at her complaining about dumb shit. Where that nigga Koji? Where that nigga Kawaki at? Blah, blah, blah. Bitch, shut the fuck up. I hear complaining and shit. Bitch, let a nigga eat. So then after she done complaining, her little ignorant ass is <laughs> goddamn table across the room. Oh. Uh, I'm sorry. Um, what? What the fuck is her problem? I don't, I don't, I don't know this bitch from Adam or Eve. I don't know her, but last time you get fucking dealt with. I'm sorry. I catch hand, catching hands is equal opportunity. Okay. From people in a wheelchair to people who are 18 feet tall. Okay. I, I am an equal opportunity of catching hands. Uh, you chickens, I made you at a circus. Disrespectful stank asshole wasting at least fifty dollars worth of Olive Garden. And look at us. And how the fuck you don't match? I'm sorry. What the fuck is this? Oh. Disrespectful stank asshole wasting at least fifty dollars. You look like a confused clown. Get the fuck it's out. Worth of the Olive Garden. And look at us. She. She got some titties though. And she made a statement and shit. Long titty, no nipple, having ass, bitch. But this man Jigen like. Mm. Bitch, I was not done eating. He spilled like a whole nother table. Yo, where did he get another table from? Did my nigga just like rob a Ashley's or some shit? <laughs> See, look, that's already some criminal activity right there. The nigga stole a table with the same $50 Olive Garden meal. But then he's like, all right, look, bitch, stop complaining. You can do whatever the hell you want to do. I don't give a shit. But you got to follow Koji's lead, you feel me? And we all know damn well her little uppity ass is not going to follow that nigga's lead. So then she leaves. So Hold up. Hold up. Excuse me? 
Yeah, yeah, give me a minute. Excuse me. I'm sorry. My blackness got questions. Hold up, so you telling me that she can break a table, you can spawn another one, and you y'all don't have a like a serious talk. Now I know he probably they probably did, but I'm just saying don't fall for this shit. Don't fall for that that shit of oh your your girl break her phone because she was mad at you because you ain't text her back and now you gotta pay for it. Nah, bitch, you pay for it. Like don't don't fall for that. The fuck a bitch try to pull that shit on me. I said, bitch, are you dumb, stupid, or dumb? Huh? <laughs> if you don't get out of my fucking face with that dumb shit, I mean dead eye serious. She's like, but you didn't call me back. I notice me. No. I said, that sounds like a personal problem, bitch. Now, you ain't calling nobody. She got upset, but I was just like, it sound like a personal problem. Why you over here slamming your phone and shit? Grow the fuck up. Damn. Little stupid bitch. The old dude comes up behind him and he's like, hey, bro, uh, you should have you let her ass go. And look at Jigen, he like, shit, I don't give a shit if the bitch die, the bitch die. Well, uh. Die, yes. Well, she then. sure did get her back blown out on God. That's not her toe <laughs> her shit. Boy shoved a fat ass for Sangon in her back. Absolutely folded the bitch. And, and she is knocked the fuck out. Dead as hell. That's some origami right there. Oh. Hey, this must be what he not to look like after Naruto. You said Shadow Kono Jusu up in them sheets. Dead as hell. Shit, this must be what he not to look like after Naruto. You said Shadow Kono Jusu up in them sheets. But anyways, bro, she blows herself up and respawns back at the base. And look at her, angry as hell, throwing the attitude and shit. And look at Jigen, he like. I told the bitch to follow the damn plan. If the hoe don't want to listen, the hoe got to learn. And ladies and gentlemen, Jinka just gave us a very great example of how to keep your hoes in check. If they don't want to listen, then let them learn the hard way. So yeah, uh, that's exhibit A and uh, time to move on to uh, exhibit B. Now, later Hold on, so she could just explode and come back? So she ain't even learn shit. Did she get... Okay. Before, before all these Naruto fans get in my ass. Okay. Y'all leave the explanation down below because the last time I left an explanation, people were like, well, you don't know about the power levels. And Stop asking that. No one cares anymore. And, and the moon and the stars and all that other shit, right? But I mean, like, if you can, if she, if she get her ass beat and if she could just respawn, did she really learn? I'm just saying. Just don't act the fuck about there. Ladies and gentlemen, I present to you Exhibit B, home invasion and running nigga shits. So as we know, Kawaki uh, is a runaway child. He can be beating that nigga on God. I mean, absolutely tormenting him. Jesus so he Christ. He said, all right, fuck it. Playtime's over, little nigga. I'm coming for your ass myself. So he literally warps out of his hand and just busts up in Naruto's house. And look at him. He like, shit, this is a nice ass living room. My bad, Mr. Hokage. I came up in your crib with my dirty ass shoes on. And look at Naruto. He like. I know this nigga did not just come up in my house with them dirty ass chocos on. <laughs> so Naruto said, oh hell no, nah, bro, I'm jumping your ass. But then Jigen just slaps him away, dog. And he uses this move. I don't know what it specifically is called, but he spams the living hell out of this move. I'm talking about like PK fire in this bitch. And look at him, he used it again. Oh shit. What's going on in your brain right now? Brain. The pinhead. Pinhead. Um, okay, watch it. Okay, not a pinhead, the needle head. Um, spiky. Uh, brain on some other shit. Spirit nigga. Yeah, spirit. No, they wouldn't say that. I don't know what it's called either, but I like pinhead better. Nice work, brain. You're welcome. Or, or. Or, well, that could be like, give me five feet. That's like actually the ultimate mush, if you think about it. So then Kona Hamu starts on the box, but uh, we uh, Nigga, what? God, oh, God, God. Damn, yeah, you was so as your goddamn granddaddy, boy. Eighth Hokage, my ass. Hey. He deserved to get his ass beat. He didn't see. 
Watch, watch. Shay, you don't know the fucking lore. We, you know what? We already discussed that comment. We ain't got to come back to it no more. But he just saw eight people get pin cushioned and he thought that he could do something. Shay, but you don't know about his power level. Nerd! And his hidden fucking beast dragon or some dumb shit. It doesn't matter, okay? If I see he don't have a problem with making everybody like look like a porcupine, why would I run up? This this look like the shit that had something to do with Naruto. This ain't got nothing to do with me. Shit. They look like distant cousins anyway. The fuck? Family don't gotta stick together. Bye, bitch. Right. I ain't sorry. Hey, bro, I'm sorry. But after that performance, well, shit, my nigga, my nigga does not need me no goddamn Eiffel Kage goddamn. I'll call him Orochi Mo's bitch ass on God. Chon 9th or 10th, motherfucker. So while Jigen is tormenting his adopted son again, like Brett's gripping the shit out of his wrist, Naruto comes out of nowhere and sneaks his ass. So they start boxing and throwing hands. And look at him, he fighting dirty and shit out here using Konohamaru saw your ass today. So he says, screw it, I'm just gonna blow up the village. About to give y'all niggas PTSD for the pain blew this bitch up. So then Kawaki cracks, he's like, all right, bro, go ahead, take me, but you know, Naruto's not gonna let that shit happen. So Why? Jigen's like, all right, bro, you wanna run the hands so bad, we can run the hands. So he warps him to another dimension. But Jigen was like, you know what, nah, bro, I'm just gonna leave your ass here. So while he's about to leave, Sasuke comes out of nowhere and drop kicks him. Now, now, I'm like, where the hell did your ass come from? Yeah, Sasuke knows he has been following Jigen the whole time. So now it's a two-on-one. So we all gotta be thinking, hey, bro, <laughs> Naruto and Sasuke about to run this nigga's pockets. Okay, so, okay, so what, what is so important about the little nigga that they kid, that he wanted to kidnap? What was so big about it? that everybody was willing to sac he was they were willing to you know sacrifice the village over why look it don't make no it don't make no logical sense to me but i bet that he got some damn hidden power that i don't fucking know about or something like that but i'm just saying like if it's one person versus a whole entire village i mean like the one person can run hands and is this before or after Madara? I don't know. I have no idea. Is this if is this before or after Madara? I, I don't know where it comes in in the timeline. Because if it was up to me, we would also be sleeping underneath that goddamn tree. But everybody had a problem with that. So now now got now a village gotta die. They deserve to die and I hope they burn in hell. There's no way they can lose, right? Right? Wrong. Wrong. <laughs> Yeah, but these niggas got they ass whooped. Like, they tried to jump him. He was beating they ass. Naruto pulled all the shadow clones. All them shits was getting whacked. And then look at him stare at Sasuke, bro. I don't know what Sasuke did to do, bro, bro. Bro has a vendetta against Sasuke. Man does not like his Renegon at all. So then Sasuke pulls up to Susano. He's like, I don't like how this nigga's staring at me, bro. I'm about to beat this nigga's ass. So Naruto said, I'll pull out Karama as well. And bro, just, just look at this, bro. This right here is one of the coldest shots I have ever That's seen. Really bro is shot. literally staring them niggas down like they ain't shit. Look at him, he like, shit. Show me what y'all niggas got then. So this dude literally oh, blasted him. Bro, bro, he blasted his shit. Out of his Susan dog. <laughs> bro, Sasuke getting mad shitted on right now, bro. Is that like ripping a t like like a tight like one of the uh one of the Titan niggas out of the Titan? Shay, words sentences. No, y'all know what I'm talking about, right? That you um you had you like Aaron, like ripping Aaron out of a Titan or. Hold on, hold on, let me, hold on. why I say Aaron? I mean Reiner, <laughs> cause that nigga always getting fucked over. Um, is that like, like if you kick a nigga out of the Susano or whatever you call it, is that like detightening a nigga? Is that, is that really hard? That's what I'm saying, phrasing. But you know what I'm trying to say. And damn, bro, this was just the beginning for Sasuke. But hey, they, that comes later. And then he just cracks Naruto. Yeah, yeah. That boy took flight. Well, then they think they got him, but uh, my, my guy pulled out that full counter. Slapped Sasuke to oblivion again. Then he just pieces up Naruto. 
<laughs> Damn, bro. This man did the impossible. He really just pieced up Naruto and Sasuke at the same damn time. And look at him talking that disrespectful ass shit. Bruh's like, y'all done wasting y'all chakra because y'all wasting my damn time. Oh, sorry asses. And look at him, bro. He's just eating the Amaterasu with ease. He's like, damn, boy, your shit ain't even burning, nigga. That shit cold as hell. And bro, he, he just really made light work of these niggas. He made Sasuke teleport to his wife's house. Damn, I love how Sasuke, like, never comes home. And when Sakura finally sees him, he's beat the fuck up and knocked the hell out. <laughs> like, imagine your husband ain't been home for, like, six months or some shit. And he pull up to the house and he knocked the fuck out and bloody as hell. You would think that your husband will come home for like a home cooked meal or something. No, he came home because he got his ass whooped. And then that's that. Oh, no, no, no. Oh, go back to her. I Here we go. I will not come home to that bitch either. That's the annoying pink hair bitch in the, um, when Naruto first starts. That's a, that's the same annoying pink hair bitch that was simping over him the whole entire time. She finally trapped him into marriage. Bruh, I feel bad for the dude. I feel bad for him. Cause she was stalking him that whole entire time. She didn't like literally he was not interested in her at all. And she just kept stalking him. And then this is why people think that shit cute. If I just keep, if I just keep like hounding this person, they gonna finally fall in love with me. No, they will finally get a restraining order. Okay. That's what they'll get. All right. And plus I hate her. I hate her. She was the reason why I stopped watching Naruto because she was fucking annoying. Husband will come home for like a home cooked meal or something. No, he came home because he got his ass whooped. And then after that, he just trapped Naruto in a bowl and just dipped. So yeah, uh, that was Exhibit B, and it is finally time for our last and most juicy exhibit. <clears throat> Not that bad. Exhibit C. Now, ladies and gentlemen, this is where everything comes full circle, and we finally see how much of a menace of society this man is. Exhibit C consists of assault, battery, homicide, attempted murder, gangbanging, trespassing, and every single- What kind of gangbanging are you talking about? <laughs> oh God. And this must be what Hinata looks like after Naruto you said Shadow Clone Jusu up in them sheets. Anyway, other charge you could possibly think of this man committed in exhibit C So after he trapped Naruto in a bowl and absolutely abused the living hell out of Sasuke He ended up getting sneaked by Koji who is obviously a, a f Jiraiya clone like my nigga I knew this shit from the jump when I first saw the nigga I mean it was blatantly obvious like there was no mystery at all like look at the nigga He's using the same dusty ass toads, but anyways ladies and gentlemen Ishiki is no man to sneak you see uh you remember back uh when Cole tried to sneak the nigga uh, bro got flung to the side like a side piece I mean I can't count I mean Koji didn't do half bad I mean he did take out like the body of Jigen but then he got bodied right after it though Damn. but then this man did one of the most disrespectful things I've ever seen after he bodied dude he literally gave himself a glass of wine and started talking shit to him <laughs> <laughs> Look at him, bro. You're like, damn, you ass. But this glass of wine tastes hella good right now. I ain't gonna lie to you. Bro is basically smoking this pack right now. So Ishiki basically bodied an op that was created to kill him. <laughs> like, bro, this man is out here killing artificial ops. Well, I mean, he didn't like really kill him, but like, uh, you get what I'm saying. Man, that nigga have a tactical retreat. So then after that, he said, fuck all the bullshit. I'm going to get Kawaki's bitch ass myself. So then he pulls up to the leaf, and I know everybody probably had PTSD looking at his ass in the sky. Look at him. They like, ah, oh, shit. Shit. <laughs> we about to get Shinra Tensei again. Look at him just standing there enjoying the view looking like <sighs> Smells like bitch out here. So then all the fodder decide to pull up. Well, except for Rock Lee. Rock Lee's still my to this day. But like what the the rest of y'all niggas gonna do? One nigga's dog is literally more popular than him. What the Told you gonna do eat the nigga and, 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 and do I even have to explain this a literal swing set has more screen time than her and they gonna harm her pull up like he why don't all you idiots just start showing up you gonna do something was that the nigga who got pin cushion the last time is that the same dude <laughs> nigga all right granddaddy's boy let's see if you can do better yeah. than last time cocaine is a hell of a drug <laughs> So they all attack oh, Unison, but we're like bitchy here. All y'all smell like bitchy. Little stupid bitch. Damn, Kishimoto really about to make these niggas a Z Fighters 2.0. No, no, no. 
They're not. They're okay. They're not. They're not the. They're not the. They're not the Z fighters. But I was gonna say something. At least. At least Piccolo. At least no. Fuck yeah, I'm sure. But Piccolo, Tien, um, uh, Kakarot, um. Hmm, I'm trying to think of who else cares about society. Oh, and Gohan. Um, Vegeta doesn't. He'll 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 fuck somebody up in the middle of the street, you know what I'm saying? You weren't ready. But at least in Dragon Ball Z, they attempt to leave the <laughs> the establishment. You know, like they try to get him to leave the establishment. Like like they they just fight around some rocks and here they were like, nah, we gonna take it right here. The basic bit squad, we gonna take them right here and we gonna do something. Characters that you thought were cool back in the day, now they, they sorry as hell now. So then after they all got flatlined, Naruto finally decided to pull up, realizing that he's one of the only relevant characters left in the show right now. So they get the we boxing for round two. So then Ishiki boots him through like four houses. Hope them niggas got insurance. That is some serious property damage. But anyway, Sasuke pulls up and here goes Ishiki again, complaining about Sasuke's damn Renegon. Like, like this nigga, like dead ass wants to run his shit. So then Sasuke throws his sword and Boruto is the goddamn sword. So they all end up transporting what? to this other realm. And this is where Ishiki was like, you know what? them kids bruh so the first thing he does is grab Boruto he went past both Naruto and Sasuke he's like hell nah bro I'm about to beat the fuck out your kid first excellent so this Sasuke switches places with them man <laughs> why 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 did you switch okay oh he's a child he's a child Jay. he's a child fuck them kids yeah but nobody I talked to I talked to Naruto fans. Nobody likes Boruto. Why can't he get hit? Die, yes. Why? I did not mean it like that. <laughs> this is where the Sasuke disrespect began. Dude caught his story. He's like, mm, pussy ass boy. That Renegon pissing me off. Damn. Gave Sasuke the feet, nigga. So then at this point, Ishiki's like, you know, bro, I, I just don't care. I'm just about to kill y'all niggas. Y'all pissing me off. So we, they just start we, running we, the hands we, again. We, Here goes Sasuke again, spamming the hell out of Chidori. But then Ishiki drops these big ass Rubik's cubes. And then. Oh man, my boy Sasuke, bro. <laughs> boy, got the living shit to die. God. God. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, boy, he hit him with a whole ass chain combo. I feel like I feel like he deserved it, but I feel like more disrespected. Uh, why you just randomly dropping blocks? I, okay, like I feel disrespected because I'm trying to have a I'm trying to have a fight with you, and you just go get these big ass Lego blocks and just start dropping them. But I do want to see that kick one more time. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, Damn. Boy, he hit him with a whole ass chain combo. After Sasuke just got obliterated, he grabs Naruto's ass and drags that nigga through the dirt. And look at this. Look at this. Boy, in the luck ultra instinct. And he just straight slapped that nigga. Bro said, I had enough of your goddamn protagonist bullshit. Now lick my fist, nigga. Then he just dropped a ginormous weakness cube on him. So after he just got done beating the dog piss out of Naruto, right. Boruto's trying to help Sasuke after he no, got hit by that disgusting aerial go. combo. But then Ishiki pulls up right behind him, so he has to take the hit again. <laughs> oh my god. Sasuke has taken the ass whooping of a lifetime, bro. Like, Jesus Christ. But then he just kicks Sasuke over and is about to drop a whole Rubik's Cube on him. But here come Boruto out here trying to stop the Rubik's Cube. I mean, hey, at least that nigga trying. But Ishiki had to stop because you know that he kind of needs Boruto for like his plan and everything. So he needs a kid alive. So Boruto got. The See, this is, this is, that's, you know, this is the problem. This is the problem every fucking time. This is why people. <sighs> Shay, you can't compare because of the fact that the matter is you never watched Boruto and you don't know anything about Naruto. Uh, uh, 
Yeah, yeah, give me a minute. Gohan could have did more more shit than that. I'm just... I'm just saying... I know, I know they got the Dragon Balls. I know, but but go go Gohan could have did more shit than that. I'm I'm just throwing that fuck up out there and everything else. All right. Even with Kakarot being his father, he could have did more. Gohan could have did more. I'm sorry. That's a compliment. I'm giving Kakarot a compliment because I bet Naruto love his kid and look what that gets you. You know what? Maybe sometimes abandoning your children is a good thing. Oh, wait. First of all, you're not going to speed past that like you didn't just say what you just said. Because Gohan came out great. This kid could held up a block. So, I mean, like, I guess Kakarot's dad training is okay. As long as you got a piccolo there to pick up the slack. Kunai up to his neck, he like, yeah, bro, I off myself right now. But Ishiki said, cut the little games, little nigga. So he shrinks the kunai, and then he disappears. So Sasuke's like, hey, bro, you need to run now. Run so this nigga runs out of time. Tick tock, tick tock, tick tock. So while he's telling Boruto that, like, bro, you gotta run, Move Ishiki comes from the top rope and rides this nigga like a surfboard. Bro, he took him like a hundred yards. Drug that nigga through the dirt with his damn feet. <laughs> Yo, this man Sasuke on life support at this point. So then he grabs Borto and he's like, Because the nigga didn't run. Like, I swear, I swear, this is how, this is, this is how kids get caught. Like, run now. Yes. God, Lee, you just needed a black friend. Hey, look, look, I have got a black friend. Hey, bro, I don't intend on killing. I, I know, I know. Horn, horn, demon dude would have caught up to him, but at least put up a valiant effort. Sasuke is getting his ass constantly beat because of your ass being here and everything else. I don't even know why you're here. I don't know. I don't know why they thought you would be an asset, nigga. I don't know, but they brought you here and they hindered themselves and everything else. Your ass could have been hiding some fucking where else and everything else. Unless he got a child track on your ass. Can't you go to another village? Or, I mean, if you got a leaf village, do you have any other villages y'all cool with? Are y'all cool with the acorn village? Oh, no, you didn't, bitch. Are y'all cool with uh the bark village? The grass village? Oh, like, like nigga, you couldn't go to another village? Sasuke constantly getting his ass beat and your daddy's got stuck between a bowl and then two Rubik's cubes. Nigga, your ass need to be in a different in a different tribe. Uh I Yeah, the tree tribe or something like that. What the hell? Somebody, why the hell are you here? Why are you still here? Killing you, but you're on. <laughs> <laughs> that was the ugliest scream I've ever heard. He's like, I apologize. No. That was the pinned on killing you, but f your arm. <laughs> I, no, I didn't see it at all. I'll let you dirty your eyes, bro. These eyes? Yes, those. Not these eyes. <laughs> that was the ugliest scream <laughs> I've ever heard. Your arm. <laughs> that was the ugliest scream, but f your arm. <laughs> Hey, bro, I don't intend on killing you, but f your arm. <laughs> to a woman so heartless. It's a child in pain. It's a shame. It's a child in I'm... It's a child in pain. Okay, you guys. And we should not laugh. At people suffering. Hashtag that's the <laughs> that was the ugliest Well, it's been fun, kid. I mean for me, 
Not for you. Scream I've ever heard. This is like, I apologize for the misunderstanding. Oh, bro, Yo, he's bitch. beating a child. And you're telling me Kawaki went through worse? Yo, this man might be up there with the worst fathers in anime. <laughs> then he cracks his spine. Oh, bro, this man is different. So all his son. What's the di- Okay. Gohan went through worse. What do you mean it's bad to treat a child that way? Gohan went through worse. What? So. I, you can't compare. Okay, I won't compare. But I'm just saying, like, the Z fighters constantly get, they, like, okay, you know what? Maybe when he gets his ass beat and when they when he regenerates and heals, he doesn't come back stronger. Maybe that's it. Okay. Son is being absolutely tormented right now. Naruto's having an inner chat with Karama right now. He's like, all right, bro, we got to do something about this shit. So bro takes flight and pulls up in the Baryon mode. Oh my God. And look at Ishiki. He's like, what the fuck is this? This isn't talk no jutsu. No, no, this is, this is. Fine. So then Naruto oh, decides to run in this shit. Oh my god. Boy, beat the hell out that nigga. Damn. And look at him, bro. I know he mad as hell right now. He's like, bro, I was just whooping this nigga's ass like five minutes ago. And now he done pulled this bullshit. Get the hands. And bro, bro, tell me why he hit this man with the same five-piece combo he hit Sasuke's ass with. Sasuke probably over there observing this battle having PTSD right now. <laughs> then he hit him with one of the coldest of Sangons I've ever seen, bro. Lord have my bro. He he ran that man's fade. Form has some major side effects. He can shorten in Karama's lifespan. So is she Oh, I thought it was gonna say catching asthma. I'm about to say. He grabs a hold of Naruto and he's like, wait a minute. I just felt some shit. So he ends up warping Kawaki to the battlefield. So man is choking the life out of Naruto right now and is making Kawaki play the most exhilarating game of hide and seek he's ever gonna play in his life. But then here comes Sasuke being a decoy again, bro. Somebody help this man Sasuke, bro. Like y'all niggas need to give this man an award at the end of this arc so, Cause he is atoned for his sins from the past. Cause he is taking the ass whooping of a lifetime. In all honesty, out of all the side characters in anime, I didn't think Sasuke was gonna be the one to get the Vegeta treatment. Hell, that's what I was thinking. Thank God. Okay. I was thinking the same thing. I'm like, what the fuck did he do? But there's my baby. So cute. Oh, hey, how you doing? Sorry, let me fix my hair. I was literally wondering, what the fuck did Sasuke do? I, I, I don't know. I, look, look. I got a poll going up right now. So it's either going to be in between Bleach, Naruto, or, uh, and then hopefully I'll learn how to say it right, uh, or One Piece. There you go. The poll is out, so y'all better vote. And then after that poll goes out, if it's if it's One Piece, y'all know damn well we're gonna be on this bitch until 2030. So y'all better go vote now. But I was wondering what the hell that nigga did. I just remembered somebody said that his arm got cut off. Naruto became a dad, and um I didn't know Sasuke got his ass beat. Like if I could if I could do something to change this show, I would switch Sasuke with that pink hair bitch, and I would be having a better time just watching her constantly get her ass beat it would make me feel good but all i'm just saying is that uh Sakura better be throwing back that good good when he get home. So while Ishiki's she having a mental breakdown and is holding Naruto hostage right now, Kawaki's having flashbacks as this man tormented him for his entire childhood. He killed his goldfish and shit. He will beat the nigga for playing hide and seek. So while Ishiki's stomping out Naruto, Kawaki just goes ahead and surrenders. But guess what? There's a twist. Bro, he really fooled that nigga with a shadow clone, bro. <laughs> How the hell you are you basically a damn god in this universe and you get fooled by a damn shadow clone <laughs> nigga you dumb as hell motherfucker snake are you okay snake snake what the fuck just happened what did i miss something Naruto. Kawaki just goes ahead and surrenders. But guess what? There's a twist. Bro, he really fooled that nigga with a shadow clone, bro. <laughs> How the hell you are you basically a damn god in this universe and you get fooled by a damn shadow clone? What the fuck just happened? 
happen? Okay, so am I alone or did that not explain anything? Did he- he got osteoporosis and then he- What? Nigga, you dumb as hell. <laughs> Motherfucker! Snake, are you okay? Snake? Snake? I ain't even gonna lie to you. You deserve to die after that bullshit. I mean, you a menace, but but you you kind of deserve to die after that bullshit. I don't God. even know what he... I don't even know how uh, y'all so uh after all that evidence that I have gathered uh I think it might be safe to say that uh we're gonna have to give the man a spot because he is a certified menace bro's out here beating kids fucking up goldfish committing home invasion and ran Naruto in Sasuke's pockets <laughs> take your seat my nigga yeah uh, that's basically it uh I need a I need a R.I.P. though for my nigga Karama bro like that that's that's sad bro oh the what the the nigga died I need a I need a RIP though for my nigga Karama, bro. Like that that's that's sad, bro. And also we do need a RIP for uh Sasuke's Renegon. Bro, Shiki really snuck that nigga on the low. But anyway, okay, so y'all, uh breaks over. Uh we're back up in this hole. So let me go ahead and give a sincere apology for uh being gone for like forty some goddamn days. Like Jesus Christ. But anyways, uh y'all take it easy and uh, I'm out to hope. Well, that's my I dude. I guess, I guess after, I guess after seeing some of the people at the round table, he didn't even do, he didn't even do that much. Third lines you will ever hear. This nigga says, would you like these clones to use Susano or not? <laughs> Wait a damn minute, you telling me that nigga, you already broken his but you telling me the fucking clones can use the Susano too? Is that the blue I'll just thing? Roll over and die at that point. So yeah, Brene was getting bought. Out. This, this shit is over. This is a class A jumping at this point. Look at somebody. She just croaked over. And then he grabs the right Kage and he just puts his ass to sleep. <laughs> then the old head gives him a motivational speech. And this is basically their last stand at this point. So they pulling out everything trying to seal this man. So they like, yeah, this the full power of the five Kage nigga. So Mato's like, all right then. It. I'll respond with full power myself. So then he just blasts out of the whole seal. And look at him. Y'all really thought y'all ate that shit, didn't you? Y'all niggas ain't shit. So Why do they keep trying? Okay. Okay is a hell of a drug. Okay, okay. okay. Train. Yes. I'm not going to cap. When I first Bruh. saw this scene, I started screaming, dog. He used him as a meat shield to literally kill everybody on that train. Oh, bro, bro. It, this scene right here just had me like shook. Me and all the homies were just sitting on the couch like, damn, office. literally beat the brakes off of his entire security force. And while he was doing this, he took a break and smoked a cigarette. Like, so then Boo does one of the craziest things I have ever seen. And this is where he cemented himself in my books as the ultimate menace. He went to heaven to beat the brakes <laughs> off a dead Wait a minute. Wait, wait a minute. I beg your pardon. <laughs> he went to go get more smoke from the dead ops. I know, Shay, Shay, you have to watch the anime to get the full context. Of the, I know, I know, I know. I'm not saying, I'm not saying beating kids and child and, and, and attempting to kill a child is not bad. Okay. I'm not saying that. But for the round table, I'm just saying it's a very high bar. Is that, so I mean, can somebody give me a death toll that that he, he he got? Because we we know we can't do a death toll on how many people Majin Buu killed, uh, Baki's daddy killed. Who else is Truck Coon? Truck Coon? We know we can't do that because people still getting clapped by Truck Coon, and then he got cousins too. I mean, I'm trying to think of people out there. Vegeta d annihilated a whole planet. Broly b blew, up, blew up a whole galaxy. He he has to he had to like at least kill more than like four or five people. Like, cause I just named people like even Baki ain't even at the round table, and he done marked some people. That's why I'm like, maybe I'm missing the context. I have seen a lot of people at that round table beat the dog shit 
out of plenty of people and killed them. And I didn't really see a high body count for him. So, and everything else. I feel like Baki Daddy needed to be up in there because the fact of the matter is he would have broke that he would have broke that dumb bitch back. They bitch. Called it. Anyway, but um Okay, of course. Uh here's all my here's all my links. You can support uh support me on all of my platforms. Of course, cash up is cash. And then I have my Amazon wish list below. If you want to help me buy some cosplays. Uh again, um, links for the original creator will be down below. Again, my name is Shay Too Sweet. You can call me Shay for short. And like my grandma always says, so long. Animals and bitches feeling like the